In this class, we are going to learn how to generate the variable of type array data provider with the help of JavaScript in our Visual Builder application. You might get a scenario in your projects wherein you have to convert some JSON array or some of the data what you get from the REST APIs after transformation in a JavaScript to a array data provider so that we can attach that particular data to the components like the table component, list component, for each component, so and so forth things where you cannot directly attach any kind of JavaScript kind of array. You have to always provide the array data provider kind of variable data then only it will display in the table. Suppose if you have this scenario in your implementation then we will show you how to achieve the same. We are going to make use of the same application which we have discussed in our previous class. If you see over here in the for each loop what I am using, I am using the contact details ADP. So this contact details ADP, so this variable data what I have done is I am getting this from one variable that is of type normal array. In your case this kind of data might come from the REST API or business objects and so forth things. So this data what I have done is I am considering this as an array so that you can relate this to your use cases. So what we have to do is basically we have to move this information instead of the variable to a JavaScript. From JavaScript we will assign these details to the ADP. In this page we want this information at the time this page has been displayed we have to create the VB enter page event. Let me just create this VB enter page event. So you can skip this part if you don't want this in a VB enter page event and you can resume this class from the action chain where we discuss how to create the JavaScript and convert the normal JSON array into a array data provider. I will tell VB enter event done click on finish. It will create a VB enter event action chain for me. So first thing what we need to do is we have to drop one assign variable over here. I have to get the response from my JavaScript function that is the array data provider and I have to assign to the contact details ADP so that I can display the same in the UI. So what I will do is I will create one JavaScript method over here I will tell ADP generation. So in your case you have to create the argument over here where you can pass the input data. For this demo what I have done is you can open any of the object component over here in the cookbook. I am going for the visualization under the chart area chart and the basic. So basically anything you open in the cookbook you will have this JavaScript part. First thing is what we have to do. We need to copy this array data provider and we have to paste it over here in the define. We will be making use of this array data provider extension or the library and we are addressing it with this name array data provider. Next thing is we have to copy this one OJS that is the library path ojs slash array data provider we need to provide within the square brackets next we need the data what i will do is i will go to the variables i will copy the data from here that is the default value go to my action chain i'm sorry the javascript here i will create this as array data as a constant variable i will format this so in the javascript we shouldn't display this id within the code key value shouldn't be having these quotations I will remove all the quotations. Next thing what we need to do is so when we return from this method what we have to do is we have to return that is the array data provider. I will copy this information from here that is new array data provider and I will paste it over here. I will just format it again. Here what I will do is I want array data provider to make use of this array data. I will copy and paste it over here and the key attribute in our case it id. So if you go to the variables and if you see over here in the ADP our key attribute is ID. So I have not changed this because in this case already the key attribute was ID in our case also the name is same. Suppose in your case if it is different like the item ID so and so forth then you can populate over there. Now if you know array data provider the value will be within the dot data field. So in the action chain what we will do is go to assign in the ADP to the data what we will do is we will map this ADP generation over here we will make this as empty we will remove this constant fields here we will tell we want to map the data from this functions ADP data generated dot data we will make this as expression click on save so within the ADP variable that is the dot data field you will have that information you will get this error so if you want to avoid that error you can just pass the data only when we return from this like we can just mention over here data and we can avoid that error in the action chain. For the simplicity purpose I want that over here. Let me go to the page designer. Now in the ADP we didn't modify anything it's same thing but in the variables what we have to do is we have to deattach from this variable and we will tell assign data to later because we are populating this information on the VB enter page event. Item type I will tell this is of type contact details and the key attribute is ID. 
as i told in our case adp key attribute is id and this information whatever you see what i did was i removed from this contact array and i have populated over here in the adp via the action chain by selecting assign data later instead of variable now if i go to the page designer and if i just refresh it will make a call to the vb enter event it will assign the details now from the javascript that is with the help of constant array data and then it will generate the array data provider and that array data provider i am populating over here that is with the assign action now suppose if you are getting a doubt like if it is not working i will show by deleting this i will delete the previous data source from which we were getting this information i will go to the page designer i will just refresh here if you see our page doesn't break so we have successfully generated the array data provider by moving the variable constant data from variable to a javascript within the visual builder application suppose if you are having a requirement in your project wherein you have to transform a normal javascript array into a array data provider then you can populate something like this only thing is you have to create an argument and you can pass that while calling a javascript function i hope you know already all those things